So you want to make renders like this or like that or something? I don't know. I'm going to show you. It's really easy. I'm just going to do it for Roblox Studio. By the way, guys, I have a server about an uh, asymmetrical retro slot poor game. So yeah, go join that. Join it. Join it now. Join it now. <laughs> okay. So I guess back to working again. So the first thing is have a good computer or something. And it's second, uh, realistic. Set your lighting to realistic. If it's not realistic and you have three different options, then choose future. In, in case you're just not updated. I should not updated. This looks terrible. Uh, I'll just, just, whatever. So, the kind of renders I'm doing right now, or that I showed, were renders you'd see on, like, uh, the Forsaken Wiki. You ever gone to the Forsaken Wiki and you see, like, uh, a cool kids render? So, I think they're all made in Blender, but I do it with Relux Studio because, I don't know, it's just easier. So, it's just, let's throw in a character. I'm just gonna, like, uh, Epic Sauce. You can do R6, R15, doesn't matter. You just gotta make the render look epic awesome. So, lighting realistic, and uh, the first thing I do, uh, move, just move your character up a bit, because I don't know, what I'm doing is a bit tedious. Get a part, okay, just like scale it. I feel like it should be equal, like, how many is that? I don't know, I can't count. Then, uh, control D, that copies it in the same place. Flip it. Oh my god, it actually works equal. You could, uh, if this, like, change this, like, uh, bright, bright color, or not, you can do dark, that's fine. I just do bright colors. I'm just gonna use a dark color, kinda. So I changed. The material would be something I can see, so like, you know, roof shingles, bricks, doesn't matter. Control D, spinny, spinny. Uh, it doesn't matter if that clips through. I mean, you're not even going to see the outside of it. Doesn't matter. Uh, control, select the control. Mouse button. Control D, you know. I can flip it again. Control D. Now you have epic. Someone's pinging me. You know, you can notice it's really dark now. Um, that sucks to be you because that's actually what we need. So best to lock this so nothing happens. Then, what I like to do is put a highlight. Set the depth mode to occluded. And then, uh... Fill transparency to zero. Set the outline transparency to one. This... This is good, because... It won't give you, like, um... What am I trying to say here? It'll give the character here, like, pixelated outlines it'll be like small pixels so it's it's basically already outlined when you have the outline there and it's really good it's good so i'm gonna for viewer's sake i'm gonna set this like this color it doesn't matter what color you use by the way remember troll c is a fun trick control shift v so it automatically goes in i think you can just control shift v control shift v control shift v control shift v i don't think the top one needs it but whatever so now you just have this giant thing that's kind of just out there like a cartoon, like a painting. Now you have your character. Also, I realize I made this a little small, but I mean, that's fine. You're not going to see a lot of it anyways. This is just like transparent renders. So now you're going to insert a part. This part will be the base for your light. Put this there. Uh, actually, I've done this wrong. Forget what I've said. 
we'll just take that highlight control X and we're gonna delete all these the easier way to do this because I'm an idiot is to put all of these all of the all of the outside parts here into a model and then insert it insert the singular height into model so it doesn't take up too much this is the way to go you can kind of see how it's like you know so back to what i'm saying uh let me close we don't need that anymore so this right here will be the part for our light so now we have three different lights we can use we can use a point light spotlight surface light i like to use spotlight because you know it's hit the face to bottom then shadows read those them really cool look at that whoa lighting isn't that so cool you can set this color to anything you want i'm going to like a pinkish pinkish white so now you got some color in there so now you can copy it again into the side or actually i'm gonna put this into the face of the front thing about this is that we don't really need this well i mean no we do need it it's just i'll explain it in a second the angle sets it to like it's less let me get rid of this freaking highlight so now he's really now we got our character really spazzy what the angle does is it sets it to like you know a steeper angle here I think you know what you know what i mean this is good if you want to get like a direct part of, onto something. So like I'm gonna get this onto this head. So that's really cool. So you can just set those to be transparent. Uh, extra trick. Get out of here! Extra trick is to use uh, a spear. This thing is ginormous. So let's just scale it down to like a you know two. This will be used for like a, a spotlight because it just it just makes sense. I mean, this is what a spotlight does the big circle. I don't know why it's necessary, but I just feel like it is. You know, shadows, brightness, like a yellow, bluish. I think purple is good. I like purple. Just gives more color into your character. So I'm just gonna block all these so I don't have to see them. Alright, now you have your character. But we're not done yet. We need we need posing. So you're gonna wanna buy Moon Animator. I didn't actually buy this, I pirated it because I'm evil. You don't have to use you don't have to use Moon Animator specifically. You can use the normal Roblox editor. Here by just moving everything around but that's really tedious and it's really annoying so i'm not gonna do that if you do that then it sucks to be you and go to moon animator and get our six parts you can just pose them pose your character however you like Now you have your pose character. I don't like how this top light here looks, so I'm gonna. Where is it? I don't like how that looks, so I am going to. There's nothing. Decrease that. I think it's like purple. Uh. You can adjust anything how you like, you know. Maybe it's this one that's being annoying. Now you have your awesome character pose. This is optional. But you can add a field of view camera to be like, I don't know, 35, 45. I do 45, but I use 35. Gets, I don't know. Now you have your pose character. For the final steps here is set this back. So now you have your character. 
This is also another optional option, but you can change the environmental specular scale and the environmental diffuse scale both to zero. And I like to do that because it gives us like more of a good vibe. Or something. Something like that. You can also get rid of these if you want. You don't you don't actually really need that. You can you know, you can mess with the lighting however you want. No, you can change a lot of things. Get uh, different results. See, change things and see if you like it. I am liking this, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. So move, move it in right side so it doesn't get in the freaking picture. You can either use the inbuilt Roblox screenshot or you can use, you know, the screenshot tool on your Roblox, on your keyboard. Then you're gonna press screenshot and now you have a screenshot. This thing is automatically in your clipboard now. At least on Windows 11. I don't know if that works on anything else. But it's there. So, what you can do now, let me switch over. So now we're in paint.net. You can either just control V and expand canvas. Or, you know, you can just go up here and it'll automatically have like the size set for you and control V there. But it doesn't matter. So now, you want to select the magic wand, shift, the mouse button. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just have to go back and fix this. So don't use the same, don't use a similar color to what you used uh, for your, uh, your lighting. Don't use the same, don't use that color. Don't use a similar color. Use a color that is completely irrelevant to it, actually, like green. You see, the cell, this is purple, blue. Don't use a blue background. Use, like, orange or green, something, I don't know, pink. But now you have this beautiful hunk of meat, Robloxian, and beautiful lighting. Now you can just select all that with the lasso tool. I use the square one because you can just get the pixels there easier. See, this is what I meant earlier by like the pixels and stuff. Just set it down to the nearest pixel so you can get something good out of this somehow. Then control X, a new one, control V. And now you have your render. And then you can save it. That's how you make one of those wiki renders. Kind of like Jeff the Killer. Uh, I'm going to do a time lapse making another one because I'm bored.